Hey guys, Andy42 here from Human Codable, and I thought I'm going to show you a little bit what we are currently working on. I was posting some screenshots of the new drag component lately, but um, to be honest, nobody was knowing what I really talk about, so I'm going to show you here. So we did a new drag component, and with this you can basically you can attach it to every actor you have, and everything will be draggable. In this example, you can see that we even expanded the functionalities. So now it's not only possible to track in one direction, but it's possible to track in all directions. And even you can move the object around in the X, Y, Z axis, but you can also rotate it. So everything works with one simple component now. And basically you can use this for almost anything. So you don't need any buttons anymore. You don't need any sliders. Here's a simple example where I am show you that you can pull it up, pull it down, rotate it around this axis. Or in this case, if I lift this up, it's automatically been rotated. So this will really help to speed up your workflow. You don't need any big parent-child hierarchies anymore. So just uh, drop the component on the actor you want to move. And I'm going to show you a simple example. This is a simple cube. I put the component drag on there, and the component ledger and also the component highlight. And by the way, don't worry, we will make a tutorial about all of this later on. Just wanted to show you how fast this new component is. Right now I'm selecting the linear X and linear C axis. I define some values, hit compile, and now I'm able to drag this cube around the two axes I have defined earlier on and they can also be used to trigger events so I'm going to show you. I added a base so just another static mesh component and the cool thing is you can define which mesh you actually want to move with this drag component so you can have like 10 different meshes but only the one with the drag component will actually be moved. So let's remove the one axis here and increase the value so I can track it further. And now you can see it's locked to this one axis and I can slide it around to this one value. I'm going to show you that this works also as a trigger. So let's drag a simple light in there. It has the component listen to trigger and I'm just selecting my component track, add both of those lights to my actors to trigger and everything should work out of the box. So now if I drag the cube around, you can see the light starts increasing or decreasing depending on the direction I am sliding. And one last thing I wanted to show you, we um, improved the highlight component. So now you can add the tag to a static mesh component. And this way, not all meshes from the actor are currently highlighted, but only the one with the tag. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates regarding the multi-user update coming soon. Thanks!